Hello and welcome. In this video tutorial, I will go through the steps that are required in order to generate SegWit addresses using Python 3.6. Now, as you might already know, there are two types of SegWit addresses. The first one, it is the native SegWit address and it is known also as the pay to witness public key hash. And the second type of address, this is the backward compatible SegWit address, which is also known as the pay to script hash of the pay to witnesses public key hash. A bit confusing, but they just took the native SegWit address and they've nested it inside of an old fashioned pay to script hash type of address which older Bitcoin client know how to deal with. So my goal in this video tutorials is to generate both of those addresses, both the backward compatible or the nested SegWit address and the native SegWit address. We will try to compare those two and see what we can learn from that comparison about SegWit and Bitcoin in general. By the end of this series of tutorials, I hope that you will also understand how to sign transaction, how to generate script, how to serialize transactions. And I also hope that you will get some basic understanding of concepts such as private and public key, signing and verifying, um, transaction field, script, and so on. Now, in these video tutorials, I will try to assume that you don't have any previous experience working with Bitcoin or with SegWit. However, some basic experience with Python 3.6 is a necessary requirement for these tutorials. After all, we are going to write our code using Python 3.6. Also, it might be very beneficial if you do get yourself acquainted with some of my previous tutorials on how to generate and create old format Bitcoin addresses and transactions. And the reason behind it is that a lot of effort was placed in making sure that SegWit will be as backward compatible as possible. So being able to compare the old and the classic type of transactions and addresses that Bitcoin used to support to this new SegWit format might be very beneficial to you and might help you to understand or to better understand the Bitcoin protocol and the Bitcoin development process in general. Also, it is important to note that in these video tutorials, I will go through the architectural steps that are required to generate uh, SegWit addresses and later on SegWit transactions. I will not cover or not cover in depth concepts such as elliptic curve cryptography, hashing functions, encoding, uh, scripting. I will talk about them in very, very superficial manner, but I will not go in depth about those topics. So I highly recommend that you will check the links in the description below. So make sure to check them out. And that's it. Let's begin.